Well, hey everyone, thanks for, thanks for watching this. I am joined today with Will. Uh, Will is gonna share a little bit about his, his story and his journey with uh, something called Rooted that we do here at the, at the Ridge. Um, Will, how are you doing today? Yeah, good, John, good to see you, man. Yeah, so, so Will, let me just start it off. Like, so you heard about this thing called Rooted and like when you heard about that, what were you thinking? Like, what, what were your thoughts about it? What, what, what maybe some concerns you had about it? What did you think about it? Yeah, so I think maybe it was uh, mentioned in service or something. And um, I uh, was in a group, but no longer was. And so I was kind of searching for um, another group and then also kind of like a channel to uh, grow my relationship with Jesus and continue that walk with him. And so um, I thought, uh, okay, that sounds pretty cool, like rooted, like, you know, um, get my roots closer to, to God and to Jesus. And um, gave it a shot. I didn't have any expectations or maybe, um, I was almost a little skeptical because of a bad experience that I had in my last group and stuff of feeling, of feeling judged that kind of, um, put a bad taste in my mouth. So I, um, thought, you know what, uh, wise guy once told me life is lived outside your comfort zone. So I was like, okay, you know what, let's, uh, give this another shot. So um, went to the, the first uh, rooted uh, group meeting and uh, right away, like in the book, it uh, makes you sound like a covenant with the rest of your group. That's basically saying um, there is no judgment here. We're not here to try to fix one another. This is just a space where we can really share and open up with each other. And that right away to me was a huge positive sign and gave me a huge a uh, sense of comfort and also um, kind of a peace. And it allowed allowed me to open up and kind of share some of my story and some things that, uh, you know, maybe I would normally hold back in normal conversation with other, other people. So um, that was uh, like a huge, um, I guess, a green light for me that first day. That's awesome. I love the fact that like you came in with this like thought, like, okay, like, I don't know, but like, I don't want, I don't want it to be this way. I don't want to be judged. I don't want to be like, looked at a certain way. And then right away, it's like, nope, we're not going to do that here. Yeah. Um, so uh, what, what is like a typical, like what did a typical week at Rooted look like? Yeah. So it started off uh, great. Cause I think we started in like February of last year when COVID wasn't what it is now. So we met in person in a really cool room over in the Greenfield campus. Uh, and the room just kind of has this vibe to it that's pretty intimate, that was quiet and uh, got nice comfy couches and furniture in there and stuff. And so it felt really nice. And I think like the group leaders that first night uh, brought uh, some snacks and stuff. So you kind of break the ice a little bit with eating some snacks and that kind of uh, progressed through. And so I think we met for maybe, I don't know, three to five weeks or something in that room until COVID hit hard. And we had to take a break and uh, there was a gap there between uh, when we met in person to when we finally figured out what the Zoom thing was and meeting uh, during the week over Zoom meetings. Um, so it, uh, it changed there in, uh, in the early parts or whatever, but um, it was, it was great though, having that because I remember feeling really isolated and depressed when COVID hit, not being able to go outside and talk to people. And so, uh, even though it was virtually, it was still great to still have that group that we still got to meet in person and meet each other face to face. And then we got to continue to build that relationship over, over zoom and stuff. So, so it sounds like it was pretty impactful. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was great. It was one of um, where I work. I don't really have any other coworkers or anything. So I wasn't on any zoom calls besides basically uh, the rooted. And so um, just being by myself and with a couple family members here or there, um, it was great having that, that connection. And um, also, you know, in Rooted, you uh, kind of get uh, like daily reading assignments or tasks. And so at the end of each week or whatever, we come and uh, discuss what we uh, read and what we learned and any questions and stuff that we can bounce off another. And um, 
that was great too, like having some more structure there with with reading that and then um, having having the weekly Zoom calls. So, yeah. What do you think? Like, so if you look back at like the impact it's made, you know, do you feel like that some of that structure is like carried over and those conversations have carried over? How do you feel like it's kind of impacted your faith journey, your thoughts about God, like stuff like that? Yeah, uh, it has for sure. So I had a lot of questions uh, about God, Jesus, the Trinity, Holy Spirit, how that all kind of works. I mean, there's, I think like one of the really cool parts of the faith journey is that like it never stops, like you never just know it all. And so we're all kind of like in different stages of our of our walk with Jesus. And um, I considered and still do consider myself like early in my walk. Um, but like the group leaders were further, uh, at least in my eyes, in their walk with Jesus. And um, there was also people maybe not as far as I was in their walk with Jesus. And so like having that kind of like melting pot, so to speak, um, was really cool because we got to kind of ask questions like, you know, like, what does this mean? Um, how come like one book says this, the other book says this? And it's like, oh, actually, like, it's not different. It's just two different people's um the way that they kind of wrote about it. Um, and sharing, yeah, sharing our, our walks and our journeys, our faith journeys, uh, being able to, to help one another. So even though maybe um, I wasn't as far along uh, with Jesus um, as like the group leaders, I could still um, help out or kind of um, answer some questions to some of the other people that weren't we as far as long. Um, one of the <laughs> really, I mean, it's, it, I mean, it was really cool. It's <clears throat> embarrassing though, too. And, um, you know, something that I, I hold, uh, kind of, kind of tight and I don't, uh, open up too much about is, you know, got a bad habit in, in college um, of uh, smoking weed and stuff. And that always kind of stuck with me, like no matter if it was like a girlfriend nagging me to quit or, you know, um, even like drug testing in the army or like my own like willpower to just not do it anymore. I always like struggled with it and um, couldn't, uh, just like walk away from the habit, but like the weirdest thing happened with rooted and I wasn't expecting it at all was, uh, like, like the desire just like evaporated. Like it just went away. Like I didn't even think about it. And when I did, it was that I didn't want to do it. And I really didn't know what to chalk it up to. It was kind of took me by surprise. And, um, somewhere in there and kind of learn that as you like grow closer with the Holy spirit, um, like those temptations and things, uh, can just kind of dissipate. And so that did, and that was, uh, really, really cool, man. I mean, it was, uh, totally unexpected. And, um, yeah, man, that's, that's really awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. I know that's probably something that's kind of like, hard to share and, and, and tell people about, but that's kind of a really powerful, just, uh, I don't know, story explanation of, and you were just walking closer with Jesus, you were seeking after him and this really amazing life change happened because of it. So. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Didn't expect it at all. And, uh, it's just was like proof in the pudding of like what can happen when you got that, close relationship with Jesus like I think I mentioned earlier like the whole like spiritual muscle thing like the more you work it out like uh, the more it kind of works in you and that was like so true it was just it was it was awesome man that is awesome uh, so like obviously you have like a huge positive experience because it's like made a huge impact I'm just curious like somebody's watching right now they're watching your story and they're thinking you know, like, I don't know if I really want to do this. This sounds like some effort. Like, I don't want, what if it's weird? Like, what, yeah. what would you say to them? Ah, oh, man, uh, do it. Go for it. Jump in. It's, uh, 
like I said, life has lived outside your comfort zone and you're not going to grow if you don't get out of that comfort zone every now and again, at least. And worst case scenario, man, like go there. If it doesn't sound good that first night, like there's no strings attached. You're not in some cult. You're not going to be banished from the church or something or like looked down upon if you don't come back or if you don't feel comfortable. Um, as I say, do it and just keep an open mind to the possibilities and walk uh, with Jesus because some really cool stuff can happen. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for, for just chatting with me. Thank you so much for just like being willing to kind of put yourself out there. And like you said, dive in and share it and see what happens. And um, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. You bet.